Factor Authentication, or MFA, is a requirement for all NIST 800-171 implementation. But a common question is how do we protect the MFA registration process to ensure only authorized users are actually registering their account? The risk is the malicious actor intercepts the process and uses their mobile phone or email address. So then what you would have is a malicious actor multi-factor authenticated to your environment. And this wouldn't give you any warnings or any alerts. Now the process we're talking about, I've just grabbed some screenshots here. And you'll see this again in a little bit, is when I register for the first time, it asks me for a phone number. It'll ask me for um, an email address and we verify both of those. And I'll show you that in a little more detail. Okay, so let's protect this registration process. To do that, we're gonna to go to Portal Azure Com. If you're in Azure Gov, of course, that is portal.azure.us. In this test tenant though, I will be in Portal Azure Com. Just note that if you're government and you go to Portal Azure Com, it will actually work. Uh, you just won't be able to set the configuration settings. Now I heavily use the search bar at the top for everything I do inside of the portal. So I'm just gonna type C-O-N-D-I, click on conditional access, and I've pre-baked some locations here for us. So here in the quick launch, um, I've got some test places I have. I have a name location, and you can see here that the test tenants I have and our Google is um, trusted. They're called trusted locations. And I've built some others here that I'm going to use in some demos over the next couple of days. So let's create a new policy. So I'm going to go up here, click on policies, new policy. And the first thing I want to do is give this a name. So Johnny Joe end user is who we're going to restrict in this demo. So I'm just going to say restrict Johnny Joe MFA registration, just like that. And I'm going to come down here into users and groups. So we could select all users. Now, if you do all users, I recommend you have a break glass account. And so what I would do is over and exclude, I would probably exclude one or two global admins from this account. And so those accounts need to be protected in another way, but I would exclude those accounts. And this one, we're only gonna use this single test account. So I'm gonna come over here and find Johnny Joe. I don't have a lot of accounts in this tenant. JJ, and you can see here this JJ to 7 sys Now for Cloud Apps or Actions, this is the screen we're used to seeing. You come up here, you click Cloud Apps. I either say all Cloud Apps, so this conditional access policy applies to all apps, or I could come in and choose specific apps like you know, SharePoint or Exchange Online, right? And so this is a really common screen we see. However, what's in preview and is new is this user actions. So what we're gonna do is instead choose user actions and we're gonna select register security information preview. That security information preview is those screens where the user puts in their phone number or their email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And then on my condition, we wanna come in and restrict based on location, right? So I'm gonna say, Yes, I'm going to say uh, all locations. Now, this is going to look a little bit odd, so let me slow down. I am going to create a block rule for any location. And then I'm going to exclude my trusted locations. OK, so what's going to happen here is there is no MFA registration unless you're in the exclude rule. OK, so I could also come in and just choose a specific location. Just know you would have to build these beforehand. OK, but for this demo, I'm just going to say all of my trusted locations. And then under my access controls, I'm going to say block access. OK, so let's look at what we did. We came in and we selected JJ. We said we're going to control the register security information. It applies to all locations except trusted locations, and we're going to block access. So we are blocking access for JJ to register MFA information. 
I'm going to enable this policy just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and create that policy. So now that we have this policy created, let's go let's, let's go take a look at how this actually works from an end user perspective. So I'm just going to create, I'm going to go in a new incognito window and I'll just access my, my signins.microsoft.com. So my signins.microsoft.com. This is a new user interface, by the way. And I'm going to log in with JJ here, JJ at S7SYS.com. No, you may not have the password. And of course, it is multi-factored. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is log in here, multi-factor. And now that I'm here in sign-ins, I'm going to go over here to security info. See here on the left hand side. And you can see when I try to go to security info, I get a warning screen saying you cannot access this right now. And that is because JJ is not logging in from a trusted location. So let's go ahead and let's close this window up. Let's come in and let me show you what would happen if he was in a trusted location. <laughs> 